Hey there, Kristen here at Larry H. Miller, Colorado Jeep in Aurora. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at a Grand Cherokee that you can hopefully see behind me. Uh, but we're going to be going over one of the features in the Advanced Safety Group, and that is going to be the Parallel Parking Assist. Uh, I know there are a lot of people out there that struggle with parallel parking or just simply don't know how to. Um, I know that there's not usually a, a big need for it, but in case you get stuck in one of those uh, scenarios and you don't know how to, supposedly this Jeep can do it. Um, I know I can park, uh, or I can do the parallel parking, but I just kind of want to see how this stacks up. So let's give it a shot. So I just want to show you real quick what we have here. Uh, so I do have the Grand Cherokee Overland that I'm going to be demoing. And then uh, I did a little setup over here and made my own little parallel parking spot. So let's go ahead in and I'm going to point out all the, all the buttons for you. That way we know the steps and how it works. So uh, there are many buttons that are associated with that advanced safety package, but the one that we're gonna be focusing on today is this one, and that is for your parking assist. So in order to get that started, um, the vehicle does need to be in drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna push this button. And that's that advanced uh, safety group that is beeping at me, um, just letting me know that I am in close proximity to another vehicle. But the parking assist is on, and as you can see, it is searching for a spot. So we're going to slowly creep up. That way it can hopefully pick up a spot here. There we go, space found, keep moving forward. So creeping up a little bit. It should just tell me to stop. All right, so I'm removing my hand from the wheel. Obviously my other hand is doing this video. I'm holding my phone to do this video. Uh, so I'm putting the vehicle in reverse. Uh, when I do that, obviously my backup cam does come up, but I'm gonna try and pan out here a little bit for you. Um, I am controlling the brakes and the gas on here um, because obviously we still don't want to hit anything. It's just really doing the steering for me. But no hands on the wheel. And as you can see, it's, it's doing quite a bit there. Um, and you can see it's also showing me in that rear view what's going on. The screen is also telling me to continue backing up. There's that advanced safety pack group. So the screen did tell me to stop. I'm trying to get a view on it. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that in forward now. Have to wait for the wheel to come to a complete stop. Done turning. Just slowly creeping up and telling me to stop again. Putting it in reverse. And it stopped. Actually activated the brakes there too a little bit. Slowly creeping forward. It says to stop. And this last reverse should get us into that spot perfectly. But there we are. So as you can see, it is letting me know that it is complete. I'm gonna put it in park so that beeping will stop. Uh, but yeah, so the vehicle is in park, and just so you can see for yourself, it is a perfectly parallel park vehicle. The only thing I did was control the, uh, the brakes. That way we weren't going too fast, hitting any pedestrians that were coming that way, um, or hitting another vehicle. So again, thanks for tuning in. I'd love to hear your feedback. Just let me know uh, what kind of questions that you have on certain vehicles, certain features, um, and I'll do a little short video for, uh, for them. So let me know what uh, questions you may have. Uh, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for tuning in. Tuning in. Again, my name is Kristen. I'm here at Larry H. Miller Colorado Jeep in Aurora, and I look forward to talking to all of you soon. Thanks, bye.